Hey guys, I know there's a lot of videos on the internet about diesel heaters, however most of them focus on the installation of the unit and boast about the impressive performance of the new unit once installed. What they don't do is tell you how the units perform over an extended period of time or what it's really like to live with a cheap Chinese diesel heater. Today I'm going to show you the basics of my Wabasto install which is a direct replacement of a cheap Chinese planar knockoff, uh, which I installed a few years ago. While you're here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Make sure you watch till the end so you don't miss my top tip for the long time serviceability of your diesel heater. Okay, let's get right into it. So, I've installed this diesel heater in a Jayco uh, 21 foot van uh, and I've put a fuel tank on the rear of the van. Uh, heater is installed as you saw earlier underneath the uh, dining table and I've run the cables through the ducting uh, at the side of the bed uh, to the batteries. Um, underneath the um, uh, underneath the bed and the fuel line just runs up underneath the van. So what you're looking at here is the installation of a short uh, exhaust pipe uh, and baffle. Um, as you can hear from the, the footage, um, there is a little bit of noise on, on startup. Uh, however, the unit once going is, uh, is really very quiet. So reason number one that I removed the cheap Chinese heater and installed a Wabasto unit. The exhaust gases uh, from the cheap Chinese unit would smoke on startup much more than the Wabasto. And while the amount of smoke would decrease as the unit got up to temperature, it would still smoke. The Wabasto, once up to temperature, has no visible smoke, indicating very efficient burn inside the combustion chamber. Reason number two, engine noise. The Chinese unit could be heard whirring inside the van and outside the van was very noisy, uh, whistling loudly through the camp during operation. Reason number three, fuel pump noise. The Chinese unit would tick loudly even when mounted on the rubber mount. The Wabasto comes with a new upgraded fuel pump and mount which is whispered quiet. Reason number four is power draw. Uh, I'll bring you into the van later in the video. Um, but the power draw on the previous cheap Chinese unit was approximately 5 amps on startup and 2.5 amps during operation. The Wabasto on startup would use less than 4 amps uh, and during operation, what's up to temperature, um, runs well below 2 amps, um, most of the time running somewhere between 1.3 and 1.7 amps. Uh, and reason number five, which is the primary reason for the removal of the old unit, was that the reliability of the cheap Chinese unit was very poor. Every 200 hours, the unit would carbon up and no longer start, requiring removal uh, and strip down uh, for cleaning of the uh, carbon from the combustion chamber. Uh, in the end, the cheap Chinese unit would no longer start as the head unit uh, refused to work and therefore the unit would no longer ignite. Uh, overall, my experience with the Wabasto heater uh, has been that the user experience is just vastly superior all round. Uh, butter smooth quiet, reliable. Um, what I'm showing you now uh, that you can see in the footage is the shutdown procedure. Um, it's basically you turn the unit off and it goes through a, a cooling down phase where the uh, igniter will turn off and the unit will continue to run air over the fins until it reaches a, a safe temperature. So I hope this video gives you a few things to think about. Um, it's not focused heavily on 
the specifics of installation, more around user experience. Uh, it would be my recommendation that if you do um, want reliability with a diesel heater, um, I would suggest that you purchase a quality unit in lieu of a cheap Chinese unit. As promised, pro tip for those of you who have installed a Wabasto, manufacturer of these units recommends you run the unit for a period of one hour per month, regardless of the season, in order to keep the unit in good working order. Apart from that, there is no maintenance required. When I was looking to install my first diesel heater, I could find no reason not to install a cheap Chinese unit because there were so many videos on YouTube saying how great the cheap units were. After living with a cheap unit, for me, the lack of reliability and requirement for regular overhauls outweighs the low price benefits and I would recommend spending the extra money purchasing a quality unit in the first place. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it provides you with some insight between the difference of Chinese made heaters and the Wabasto for the user.